Grand Ballroom at the Maine Charitable Mechanic Association recently opened to the public for the first time in over 50 years. We spoke with Michael Levine of Acorn Productions at the gala reopening about his group's plans for the space. We are planning on doing a variety of educational programs, acting classes, some stage readings of new plays, and of course Naked Shakespeare performances on first Friday of every month. And what attracted you to the space? It's beautiful, and it's located right on Congress Street. Tell us a little bit about Acorn, your, your history and what, what you do. Acorn has been around since the late 90s. We've been through a number of incarnations. The first space we were located in was actually on Congress Street at 496 Congress Street. And we were mostly just acting classes. And we branched out uh, in Westbrook and we started doing some children's theater productions, some full length productions, both classics and new plays. And we also started our Naked Shakespeare group, which does free performances of Shakespeare uh, for the public and also for educational institutions like colleges, libraries, and uh, other schools, things like that. And basically our mission is just to get people involved in the arts by having them act. Like, we believe that acting is the most exciting thing that someone can do to get turned on to the arts. And what kind of acts are we going to see here tonight at the opening of the, of the uh, hall? We have a lot of different folks involved. We have Dark Follies Vaudeville. We have the Apparatus Dance Theater. We have the Improvised Puppet Project. Then we have People Improv with Running With Scissors. We have our Naked Shakespeare group. We have Michael Troutman, who's a physical comedian, kind of a clown. And our last group is Stages Academy doing uh, Teen Shakespeare. And this quite a variety of things that you have here tonight. Is that indicative of the kind of things that you put on? Well, we're pretty much straight theater. Like, we do Shakespeare and we do new plays. That's pretty much our gig. But this space is a multi-purpose space. Acorn is only one of the tenants. We're kind of the lead tenant and the collaborator in helping to fundraise the space and get it up and running and get the modern equipment we need in here to be able to use it as a professional venue. But these groups that are coming in are all their own companies. They all do their own thing. And we're just kind of helping to facilitate, bring it together. Tom, there was a lot of work that had to be done to get the certificate of occupancy to allow the gala to open tonight. What kind of work had to be done? We had to uh, install emergency lights, uh, exit signs. We had to upgrade the fire alarm system so that we had pull stations and modernized all of the existing horn and strobe uh, systems. And we had to do a lot of fire escape work, uh, which mean, which required, the fire escape's 170 years old, so we had to uh, increase the supports and just do some minor repairs. Actually, it's in remarkably good condition because the steel from, 18, seven, uh, from the 18... 50s is much better than it is today. Uh, in a building this old, uh, what kind of challenges do you face trying to do all of that kind of work? Well, the challenge is that it's an old building, and so there's, in this particular case, there's a lot of deferred maintenance. There's uh, windows that need to be replaced because they're very old window. And then they're not re we're not replacing windows, we're restoring windows. And we're also putting in new storm windows to give us some uh, better thermal protection. You also have had some work done on the classic black front door. Tell us about that. Yes, we were fortunate to receive a facade grant from the city of Portland for $20,000, which we matched with our own $20,000. And that included uh, restoring those doors. Um, it involved uh, repainting the front. Uh, the old granite had a number of uh, uh, anchor holes that were iron, and it was it was a rusted, you know, stain. So we had all of that cleaned up, and we put in uh, some new grouting uh, so that it matched the existing uh, uh, granite, um, and basically just kind of brought it back to uh, brought it back to life. And as you walk in, you'll see this beautiful mosaic, and we had that uh, repaired um, by Caposa Tile, who donated their efforts. So, and what kind of work still has to be done? Major project. Well, we have a, uh, we also have a grant through the Maine Historic Preservation Commission to restore all of the front windows of this building on the Congress Street side. That's about a $36,000 grant, uh, but we, we need to replace the other windows on the sides. There's, an, there's another seven windows, and these are, each big arched window represents three, three windows in themselves. And what are your plans for the future for this space? We're hoping, besides doing First Friday Naked Shakespeare, that uh, we'll be doing ongoing play readings and, of course, acting classes of various types. And if people want more information about ACORN or about fundraising for, uh, to help out, how, where can they get more information? It's all on our website, which is acorn-productions.org.